Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So let's let's get into. I'm just going to start a, a document from scratch, and, and as I work through this, I might even share a few little Microsoft Word tips. Gosh, now I'm having this. Okay, there we go. So. What should we even call it? Recycling policy, waste policy, um, landfill policy. <laughs> uh, sustainable waste. Let's let's do this guy. Um, so I'll just throw a few other things in there. Waste, um, landfill, etc. We'll leave leave those in there for now. Um, so let's we'll start. Sure. What what would be a, a good good place to start? And I'm just gonna like get a what's this kind of uh, pipe dream, fantasy land, whatever. What what's um, what are a few things that might might go into this policy? Okay. Right? Re. Oh, I got an extra per in there. Okay. Well, here we go. Add a dictionary. Um, okay. Sean, do you have anything? Okay. Okay, no worries. Um, Brian. The Sustainable Campus Committee were kind of trying to push an agenda to force an awareness campaign. Yeah, education awareness, um, like most incoming freshmen when they first, before they can even get signed into Moodle or anything, they have to take a SARC mm -hmm. exam, and which is the awareness of boundaries and responsibility. Okay. And so you're kind of trying to push through a campaign to, to add that to the awareness campaign. Okay. In addition to the SARC, there would have to be some sort of a recycling awareness Questionnaire or a, a you know a little ten or twenty minute blurb where they have to you know answer a question relative to the yeah. policy. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, you don't even get on Moodle. You would, can't. Would this um, inclusive sorry? Would this go out as a as a flyer? Or would it go out as a? It would be an online type of questionnaire or or you know. Yeah. Again. The, the SARC campaign or the SARC awareness was online before you could even get mm -hmm. Google, you had to take the SARC. And so I think it would be, you know, it's a, it's similar to that. It's an online thing that says where are the refillable bottles, where are mm -hmm. the recycling bins, mm -hmm. you know, stay away from glass on campus if you can help it, mm -hmm. you know, et cetera. Okay. But you could also include in that um, tips or guidelines Absolutely. That's the whole purpose is to when you buy things sensibly, it's mm. easier to control your waste. Yeah, okay. But awareness, of, I think, is a lot of the first step. Okay. I like that little education component. Maria, I got You know, I like the idea of education. For example, in the main campus, there are some trash cans there, and most of the people does not does know how to use because there's like the big one that you can put everything, yep. and another one that you put like plastic bottles. Right, right. But it's, it's a complete mess. Are you thinking the 
the trash cans outdoors or indoors or indoors. both? Indoors. Okay. Indoors. Give me an example of a building. Uh, UC University of San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that too, like right in the um, in the cafeteria. Yeah. I was up yeah. there. It was it was it was gnarly. Yeah. So let's um, so that's that's several things. So I, I think I think you're hitting the nail on the head. There is is um, no. I'm just going to call it lone trash cans. Sometimes, yeah. That's stuff that we can change, and you know what's wrong with having somebody wash dishes, you know, instead of having all these disposable containers. Mm -hmm. Oh, so are you saying go with like a non-disposable option? Options. A non-disposable option. Mm -hmm. like no, instead of having your cardboard box, uh -huh. you can have a plate or yeah, something. Yeah, sure. And it could even be something that you could take with you, but have a place where you can put it. You know, like if you wanted your box to go, you know. Recycling bins, you have your container food bin or something. Okay, so so bring bring your own box policy, maybe. Is that kind of where you're going with it? Like, well, like if you, I mean, if you look at the fast food stream of a restaurant, it is terrible. Everything is designed to throw away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to look at the restaurant. You can just look at the streets. I'm thinking like no no more plastic utensils. Is that does that work? Let's go with that. What's wrong with that one? Okay. Biodegradable ones. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. 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 Plastics. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll get into the techno buy in a little bit. Priscilla, what, what's a good, um, what would you like to see in the policy? Yeah, so I was thinking, as Marita said, because we have like outside the house, we have some cans as well. Mm -hmm. And we have like uh, separate. This is in the, in the dorms, right? In the dorms. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But like the cardboard, we can't put in the trash. Oh. Yeah. So there is a separate cardboard. You do, you yeah, do see a separate card. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. And I'm wondering, well, so I, um, I'm not sure if wet cardboard makes it unrecyclable. Something tells me that when that goes to get recycled, it's going to get wet anyway. So, I mean, that might not be the, but, um, it, it, I, th I mean, I would, I would like to, I mean, I guess I would like to see, um, Better weatherproofing on the recycling centers. I mean, it just it, it, you're gonna. I think they'll just be used better. Um, inside, inside the dorms, um, I understood the policy. There is nothing saying about the trash. Yeah. yeah. So, so we I read, uh, most of the people put like everything together, the trash inside the room, yeah. and just throw away. Sure. It's like, yeah, it's like just a paper. Right, that we can't put cardboard, but everybody puts. Okay, okay. And, uh, so I, I was thinking maybe we could, like, uh, because we had a meeting for each floor. Yeah. And maybe someone could go there and talk to them. Okay, so so in addition to the online, maybe, um, well, so let's, let's say each, um, each dorm um, has its, uh, what, what, would it be better to have its own um, recycling center, like on a per floor basis for the whole buildings? Is that, you know, like people running up and down the stairs all the time just to go to the, you know, the big thing downstairs. What, what's the best um, best use of people's time, really, in the dorms so that the, the recyclables stay out of the garbage and vice versa? And we'll get to the garbage thing a little bit, but go go ahead. I mean, what what? So how do we how do we phrase this? Yeah, I think the, uh, the first the first step would be like there's just one trash chute that we can 
we throw away everything there. So should should uh, should create another type of like, trash chip, and we could like throw the recycling mm. materials in this one, and all the things that would be not recyclable in another one. Because we do everything the same. So even if I separate my trash, I put paper in one bag and food, waste food in another bag, I would put everything yeah. in the same trash. Yeah. And the plastic bag is too, too clean. So everything is just the, the fact that fruit is in a, like, in a high level, uh, I don't know, could be, uh, could like break, not break. Yeah. I know what you're saying, though, but like a like a, an actual shoot, but maybe have two separate streams. One's clean recyclables, and one's just kind of more junk. And yeah. also, like, I, leave, I was living with someone that, um, she, she's awesome, but she always put, like, <laughs> uh, like, a bottle of Coke with a lot of Coke. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. right. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't know how to say for her. <laughs> you should, like, clean a little bit and put separate. Yeah. yeah. So it's like hard because you have a roommate and they don't know about all this stuff. Yeah. Is that, yeah, so I, I, I hear you. You want to make it simpler for the user, right? Yeah. So. In the same respect, since we're at university, we have many of students. Couldn't, create, couldn't we create a better, sustainable, like we have more of a workforce that can take care of a lot of this stuff? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I like. You love getting paid to perform these practices. Yeah, or tuition remission, so, you know, some some type, some way to monetize it. Right. Well, actually, you, know, uh, you can sign up. Good luck to both. Yeah. The, the yeah. university is much more willing to release a few internship credits than they are in the actual funds. Yeah. So I understand that, but you know. I think as a university, we should be at the forefront of basically teaching this little community how we should be living. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're the ones supposed to know how to do it, so we should set the example, create, you know, almost like university, like its own community entity. What, what would, shows how to yeah, I'd like that. What would be a reasonable fraction of people to employ, for back, lack of a better word, in this in this position? Because, you know, we, we, we've... Um, we're now at a point where you know a very small fraction of our population is you know garbage men or farmers, et cetera, et cetera. What, what would be a reasonable fraction? I'm, I'm thinking one in ten, one in a hundred. Some you know. Honestly, you could have 100 percent participation. It's part of your your mandatory learning process. You you know we could have better like foraging practice, gardening practice. Everybody works. Well, you know, like Amish. Well, we're talking like it's service. Yeah, like it's service-based tuition. Like part of your education, you spend. I mean, obviously, you couldn't spend like forty hours. Oh, you mean for every? You mean for every discipline? Because right now, everything. Everything. I mean, the university has to pay people to do everything essentially. So why don't we have the students do it as part of the education? Yeah. Because natural science classes require their students to put in like 15 hours yeah. of volunteer. For, yeah. For every student at the university put in 10 hours a week towards something a semester or whatever. Ten hours a week is a lot. Well, I know, but everybody, that, you know, I'm sure everybody working or not working, I could spend a couple hours. We can hang over the numbers later, but right. I like the idea. But I mean, I like the idea. I, mean, I guess I. Yeah. Well, I think yeah. so. Service some 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 community service. Build some mm -hmm. some um, organized responsibility into in between beer breaks. I mean, I guess one one example is the work I do with Garden City Harvest. Yeah. Um, with community gardens, we work together. If there's a project that needs to done, we get people to sign up to work on that specific project. Mm -hmm. We work together. You know, so they're not spending funds. It's volunteer work. But you know, if we made it like built into the education program, people could be learning everything from how to grow their food, right. you know, forestry practices, you know, recycling, landscaping, I mean, okay. everything that, every service that needs to be done on right. campus could be essentially done by students. Okay, yeah. so, so um, make some 
we'll just, I'm just going to call them recycling coordinator positions and offer some kind of incentive and whether it's um, actual actual money uh, to tuition remission or course credits beyond just yeah I like that yeah yeah, and I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the, wrap my head around the numbers. I mean, right now, um, it, would, it would be interesting to see how many people are employed in facilities to do this, and how many people are employed in the recycling center to do this. But it sounds like the, the number is going to have to go up, and the, these titles will have to sort of infiltrate the, uh, the dorms so that. You know, your poor friend with the hat, full can of Coca-Cola can just sort of, hey, you know, hey, Priscilla, what do I do with this? I know you're the recycling coordinator. Tell, tell me what to do. Like, oh, you know, put the soda over here. Yeah, okay, so, all right. Uh, Sam, what do you, what, what do you think? Uh, ban the sale of plastic water bottles on campus. Okay, go California. Ban sale of plastic water bottles on campus. All right, you're going to take on Coca-Cola head, head, head to head. Bottle. Yeah. yeah. Can we include glass products, too? Does the campus have, like, you know, like these type of refills? Like, you know, down at, at Karis Park, they have the nifty little drinking fountain. It's easy to yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do. They have water filling stations. In fact, they have a little counter over yeah. the top that keeps track of how many folks use the water bottle refilling station and it keeps track of how many bottles of water have been saved. Those are really cool. Yeah. yeah. They're all over campus. They're really, they're good. That's what, that was a crop project. I so, uh, so someone else, so this is a, this is a good, good question here. So ban the sale of plastic water bottles on campus. Um, someone else said, well, ban the sale of, of glass bottles. And what if I said, well, ban the sale of aluminum bottles. I know how much energy goes in aluminum. So where, where do you stop with that, though? I mean, what, I just, I say stop with water because I think water is something that we have, we have a bunch of water and we have easy access to water so you don't, like I'm fine with people buying a drink mm. in a bottle because that's something that's actually like a product that someone's made. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't necessarily agree with myself but I think that's okay for people but people buying like water which is like a basic human right and something that we pay for. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah. People reuse the glass. Yeah. Along the aluminum tube. Aluminum. Different, but it's the same water. And I'm participating in the project Take Back the Tap. Oh. Uh, and we like um, okay. collect some water bottles like these. Okay. Then we clean and sanitize, and then we are donating. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just going to say maybe that might be another option. I mean, I got a free you know, water bottle from Take Back the Tap. Um, so that was kind of cool. Okay. Maybe promote an alternative option. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know how much Bannon, I mean, I, I, I agree with Sam. I think Bannon water bottles is a good idea across the board. Yeah. But at the same time, it's a little difficult to you know, put a crimp on that particular commercial enterprise. Yeah, it's a, that's a tough one, but I, I, I like the idea. Yeah, Shelly. When they had earlier this year the um, like the track thing, the, what was it? The, um, I think it was the disabled people doing the running. Oh, the Olympic thing. I cannot tell you. Oh, Special Olympics. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> how much water bottles from those events that were thrown away, that were full, unopened, mm. or just one drink? There was so much water. Within less than an hour, I filled up, having to dump them out, six garbage cans full of water. Wow. So Perfectly it good is water. A huge, and how many of the bottle, plastic of bottles come in with water to the recycling that good water being dumped? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so it's, it's wasteful of resources, it's wasteful of money. Yeah. It's just a giant waste. Where is that water coming from? Right. Yeah. Right. Water I like that. That yeah. that seems like well, I was a little was, questionable at first, but I, it seems like that might be something you might uh, might, might 
know that spring water is coming from somebody's head. Yeah, it's probably in California. <laughs> <laughs> there's, an extra. <laughs> there's a lot of it. I mean, up in Sacramento, some yeah. day. Um, yeah. But very rarely do you see the bare bottles full. Mm. Those are normally yeah, in the products. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it was it was disgusting. I get it was horrible. I was like Eddie, I don't want to. Dump yeah, it out. The, yeah. Why, yeah. Where's the garden? Where's the nearest garden? Yeah, you yeah. know, we have this one little plant. I mean, I was not gonna let it all water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, um, like, yeah. So when I buy like hot chocolates, for example, and the, if you use these, they discount um, fifty cents. Oh, okay. Yeah. So provide a. Um, some kind of incentive for bringing your own container. Yeah. Okay. They, they do that, but people don't know. Like, yeah, I haven't got my nickel discount. Like one of the coffee places, if you bring it, you get a percentage off. Ten percent off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I mean, I'm kind of skipping my classes over, but we're kind of trying to transition, I'm assuming, from a traditional economy of capitalism to more of a natural capitalism type economy. And so I'm not sure, I mean, I suppose monetary incentives are important to get people off the dime to begin with, but I mean, ultimately we want to try to embody some sort of different type of equity, you know, so that people aren't always holding their hands up, hey, where's mine? You know, as opposed to saying, you know, this is my school, I invested my sweat equity into it, and now I have a pride that goes along with it. It is unrealistic, though. Well, it's, yeah. it's well, I don't know, man, it's it's going going to be the education of the process, the experience, the stuff you well, you learn that I mean, the hardest part about getting a job after graduating is having experience in any type of field. Once yeah. you have an internship in that field, most places don't want to hire you if you don't have any type of experience. Where this program, you're going to do, you'll spend a month or whatever, two weeks, three weeks, and then you're going to go to work. Yeah. 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 Yeah.